Hi everyone, here is Akta and welcome back for more Infinite Magic Red content and today I want to show you uh, the potential of Nicholas without exclusive because I've not been really lucky during the summoning session to get more copies of him. Uh, so yeah, mine is only uh, exclusive zero but with no exclusive. Trust me, he is still the best support in the game. So, this is the team I am using in every dungeon in the game. I change it only uh, on Gwyneth because I need several ones on him, but uh, trust me, this is one of the best team I have at the moment on my account. So, the easiest fight is um, probably Rom, because uh, he takes more uh, damage from Dots, and he doesn't deal that much damage. Also, I have Queen Lan exclusive 3, really important here because he can control uh, the ads on the boss fight. So, let's have a look to my team right here. Uh, this is the smart casting, I'm using it on every kind of team, I'm using in PvE and also in PvP. This is really important, using this you can settle, uh, you can set the uh, skill order you want to use during the battle on each wave. So, let's talk about it. On the first wave I uh, block the skills of my Nicholas because I want him to use uh, the shield on the second wave and to keep uh, this skill because I don't need it. Mm, it's to this wave, so on the second turn he can uh, freeze enemies, lower their speed, etc. And then I'm using all his skills during the boss battle. For, for Catherine, I don't want to use her skills on the first wave because I will kill enemies really fast thanks to Sigmund and Queenland, so I don't need it. Finally, uh, second wave, I'm using uh, her skills, only the consolidation once. Uh, that means uh, this particular thing here means she will use uh, this skill as the first action of the battle and she won't use it again because this skill will be banned after that. So, this is really nice. And finally, she is exclusive 3, so using this she will use right after the shield and the counter attack, so my allies will be able to counter attack and to sustain so she, they will apply more dots on enemies. And finally on the boss I want to use uh, first the shield and the counter attack and then uh, the uh, this skill right here. Uh, probably, yeah, I'm not gonna use it. I, I, I don't care about it. If I have this uh, skill back I want to use, he, to use it, okay? Then uh, my Sigmund, I don't want to use his skill on the first wave because you will see my Queenland can kill all enemies by himself. He is such a great unit for dungeons. So I'm using only his ultimate here once at the beginning of the battle and then the skill is banned. So I want to he this skill uh, for the next wave. Queenland. Uh, I'm using this on the first turn and then I don't want him to use it again. I don't want him to use the second ability during the first wave. Then here on the second one I block this skill. I want him to use uh, this one and that's it. Because I'm blocking this one because I want him to play first on the th third wave and to freeze enemies. So it's uh, really nice. It's uh, great to uh, kill enemies. And so Lunas won't revive enemies, won't apply the resistance to debuffs, and also uh, Nazakma here won't steal my buffs. So this is really important. And finally, I'm using Dustin because he can apply a, uh, an attack down on enemies, apply a big shield, and lower the effect hit of enemies using this skill. So this is really important. I'm using it on the second wave because the first one I kill enemies really fast and the second wave sometimes you have some daughters such as Walters or uh, Ezonja or Melia so this is really important and finally here I don't care. I want to save it and so let's have a look to the, to the fight. So I'm gonna run it in auto and you will see this is a really powerful team. 
So I have a legendary aura on uh, Dustin at the moment. This is the only legendary aura I have. I'm using it on him because at the moment I'm trying to push the blue mark tower. And he, this aura increases the damage taken by uh, the boss by 16% at the moment uh, from every sources of damage. So this is a great one. This is why I'm using it on Dustin because he can apply it using this AoE on all enemies and also with the basic attack. So this is great. So as you can see, enemies took a lot of damage. Uh, the reason why uh, they took uh, one HP burning at the beginning of the fight is because my Queenland is uh, lower than it has a lower speed than them. So if it's the case, at the beginning of the wave, without exclusive, he will apply one HP burning of en on enemies with his passive. And with the second exclusive, if he is uh, slower than enemies, he will get. Uh, 10% more uh, turn meta thanks to his passive. That means he will play first during the battle. So I can freeze enemies and apply HP burnings on them. An extra one thanks to the third exclusive. This is why he is broken for dungeons. So now second wave, I'm doing the same, buffing myself. Increase the damage taken by all enemies. So now I can counter-attack, apply extra HP burnings and tank thanks to the consolidation 2 of Catherine and the shield. As you can see, all enemies are dying really fast. And I didn't take a lot of damage. So, boss wave, the Queen Land will play and freeze enemies. So now he Nezakma won't steal my buffs. So this is really nice. Now only the boss is gonna remain because they have both HP burning on them, they are gonna die. They are dead, and now only the boss remaining. I have a Sigmund and the Quinlan to apply a ton of uh, HP burning on the boss. My Dustin will apply uh, the mark on the boss so he will take more damage. Look at this. 630k by uh, for each HP burning. This is great. The boss is dying really fast, as you can see. So, uh, let me show you the stats of my heroes at the moment. I'm gonna show it to you at the at the end of the fight. So as you can see, I can tank really really easy. The boss is almost dead, 24% HP remaining, he's gonna play. And also, uh, Nicholas is really, really interesting because he can apply this on the boss. A 50% resistance down, this is one of the best debuffs in the game for dungeons. That means you don't need that much effect hit on your heroes to apply dots on the, on the boss. And also he lowers the speed of the boss by 40%. This is amazing. And look at the damage, 15% HP remaining on the boss, 6% only, so he is gonna die at his turn. And I was safe during all the fight, so this team is really awesome. But this is not all about this, uh, Gwyneth. I can beat Gwyneth now, let me show you, uh, I don't have the team. Okay, let me show you Gwyneth 29. I can beat Gwyneth 30, but I want to show you the team I am using now on Gwyneth. Uh, this is my team. I'm gonna show you on Gwyneth 30. It will be harder, but maybe I can beat it. So, Gwyneth, so I chose the team. So now I'm not using Guhana anymore, I'm using Santa because he can uh, lower the effect resistance of the boss by 50%. Before I was using Hoff and Guhana, but he can do both the job. He can lower the, the effect res and he can lower the speed of the boss. So I have everything I need during this fight. So let me run the fight and see how it works. Now I'm using Ben Austin, uh, so I can deal more damage with Cle Quinlan and uh, Lucifer on the boss because my Ben Austin is exclusive 3, so he will make all my heroes pursue the target every turn. 
First wave already done. It is the same thing as before. So now my Lucifer is gonna kill enemies fast and they are gonna take HP burning damage. So I'm pretty safe during the wave. And now I want to do the same thing with Quinlan, freeze uh, the Luna. Okay, he didn't have his uh, ultimate. So probably I have to change some basic things for this fight. So she's gonna heal uh, and cleanse. So this is a bit annoying. But now I'm gonna kill her normally. Okay, she's dead. Only one support and the boss he is hitting really, really hard though. But now, as you can see, he have a resistance down and speed down and silver wound thanks to uh, my Lucifer. So now I should be uh, I should be good to try to beat him. But he is dealing a crazy amount of damage. So. He is still annoying, really hard to beat in Noto because as you can see with the consolidation, he almost one shot in my Queenland. Uh, this is why I'm not farming the stage 30 of Gwyneth for now, but I'm, I can auto the 29 really easy. Hopla, as you can see, he takes more damage, a lot of HP burnings. So I can still manage to lower his health when he has the silver wand and also the speed down but there he is gonna heal 6 million I need more speed on my units I think he doesn't have the speed down on him at the moment so he is gonna play really soon okay speed down on him 70% HP remaining he has the silver wand too now he does not have it anymore but he has a speed down so my lucifer can probably uh, inflict it again on him okay nice fine 58 percent hp remaining but remember that he can still one shot one of my units so it's not safe Okay, 42% HP remaining, but no silver wound anymore and no speed down reduction. So he healed a bit. Now it's better. But it's take, it's taking a lot of turns right here. And a lot of time because of Ben Austin, because the pursuit uh, takes a lot of times of animations. So as a speed team, it's not really optimal. But I can beat him normally. 46% HP, he healed a lot. He doesn't have uh, the Sever Wand yet. It's not gonna work. He is gonna heal a lot. 50% remaining. And I lost Catherine, so this is it. I'm. I'm losing heroes now. So uh, Gwyneth29 is uh, doable with this team. So if you don't have Guhana, if you are lucky enough to have him, he can be a solution uh, to bring in every dungeons in the game. So that was all for this video. I hope... So let me now show you uh, the stats of my units. So this is my Lucifer. He has a crazy amount of stats right here. He has a wild set and a crit set and uh, this is his emblems so if you want to have a look and take a screenshot uh, i'm using disora on him it's better for the waves and also for the arena this is my catherine she has a crazy amount of tanky stats i agree a lot of speed and some healing effect right here uh, this is the set i'm using on her a feather set and a speed set I'm using these emblems on her, so she has more speed. Uh, she, this is the aura I'm using on her, so she can heal more of my units when she uses skills. This is my Ben Austin. He has a lot of uh, tanky stats, a high speed and a high effect hit. I'm using a feather set and a speed set on, uh, also on him. This is uh, his emblem. 
I'm using this aura on him in order to get more speed for the arena. Uh, this is my... Uh, where is he? My Quinlan. He has a lot of tanky stats, not that much speed, a lot of effect hit and mastery. I'm using a double hit set on him, so it's not really optimal, no forge set on him yet. Uh, these are these, his emblems. I'm using this aura to increase his mastery during the fight. And uh, uh, this is my Dustin. He is, he is really tanky, he has a lot of speed, so he plays before the boss. He has a bit of effect hit, but he uh, deserves more than this in order to apply the attack down on the boss. I'm using a, f a speed set and a feather set also on him. Uh, an emblem, I'm using these emblems. So he is more tanky and he has more health. I'm using this around him in order to increase the damage taken by all enemies. And uh, this is my Nicholas. Uh, he, he is a bit tanky. I'm using also a first aid set and a feather set on him. So it increases his speed, healing effect and effect hit. Uh, he has a lot of HP and defense, a lot of effect hit. This is important. Some healing effect, but I don't think he heals enemy uh, allies. He doesn't heal allies if he doesn't have uh, the second exclusive. This is his emblems. And he doesn't have any aura yet. And this is my Huff, so he is really, really tanky. You want to increase his HP first. Uh, here it says uh, defense recommended, but no, clearly not. You don't give a fuck about the defense on his on this unit. You want to maximize his HP because you will increase uh, the shield he will provide to all allies. He will deal more damage with HP burnings and he will be more tanky. So this is the only thing you want to increase on him with effect hit and mastery uh, on him you want to increase hp first and then mastery okay this is better with a bit of speed in order to uh, outspeed enemies waves enemies uh, i'm using a basic hit set and a basic mastery set on him so this is not optimal a forge set would be better uh, and i am using these emblems on him so with HP, so he is more tanky and deal more damage with HP burnings. And I'm using this aura on him to increase his HP in dungeons and every content in the game. And that was all for the stats. That was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, as usual, please like, comment and subscribe and then see you in the next one. Bye bye. Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.